Hi there, my name is Eli and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. And in today's video, I have a brand new LOL surprise, tweens costume surprise doll to unbox and review. I have Emma Emo and I picked her out. I think she looks pretty good out of the four dolls available. Plus I already have like Emma's original doll. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to compare and contrast the old one versus this new one. Now the tweens usually retail for $20, like a standard tweens doll but this series retails for $30, so it is a little bit more pricey and expensive, but you know, my guess is because we're getting this really flashy gimmick, so that's probably where that price increase is coming from. So the gimmick of this series is there is this inflatable little creature inside that I guess you inflate and then from there, you can reveal a doll inside the costume. And then the way they're marketing it is like you get two, I guess, friends to play with, like the inflatable plus Emma Emo or whatever doll you pick. I don't know how well this little inflatable will actually function as its own like character and like toy. So I am curious to see what that's like. You know, this is, as much as this is very, very gimmicky, I will say it's at least pretty innovative. I've never seen anything like this in the doll market, let alone the toy market. So, hey, that's a good thing. You know, as much as I'm like over the gimmicks and like I think they're so tiresome and I just want the focus to be on the dolls and the fashion, if they are gonna give us a gimmick, like, hey, at least go big like these are. So I'm curious and hopefully it's fun and not confusing, we shall see. And then on the back of the box, you can see the characters featured in the series. I love the back of the box. Overall, I'm kind of like eh about this packaging just because the dolls are like concealed and you can't see what you're getting, which I think is kind of a tough sell sometimes. And like even mine came with like a missing cat ear, which is like, you know, not the biggest deal, but kind of funny. Um, but the back I think is really stunning. Like the artwork is really nice and it shows off the characters really, really well. There's no like little blurb or write-up about this series. There's a little shout out to, I guess, a film in which they're gonna be featured in, the LOL skate dance movie. No clue about that. I don't watch any of the LOL surprise, like media, TV shows and movies and things like that. So I'm not up to date on that. But the four characters that are featured are Hoops Cutie, Ali Dance, Aya Cherry, and Emma Emo. Something that I think is pretty cool about this selection is they're all from different series. Hoops Cutie is from series one, I think as it, Aya Cherry is series two, Emma Emo is from series three, and Ali Dance is from series four. So I think that's kind of cool how they picked dolls from tons of different series. I think Emma Emo and Hoops Cutie look the best. And then I think Ali Dance and Aya Cherry, because they have hats, I was less drawn to them just because in my experience, I like to like see the hair rather than have it be covered up with the hat. So that's just, that's just my opinion. Maybe they're cool dolls, but for today, we're gonna take a look at Emma Emo and see what she's all about. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this doll. Okay, so I'm going to, it says right here, start here. You can like start to tear this tab. And then I think you carry on in the back. Mine just like red. Okay. And then this bottom piece kind of like falls out. Oh. Oh, it immediately turned on. <laughs> okay. Do I just like yank it off? Oh, that's crazy. It's just like immediately on when you take it off. That's not what I was expecting. And the motor's kind of loud. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this little paper bag off. Wow, that is interesting. It's just like, already inflated. So while that is making that loud whirring sound, let's look at the instructions. So what do we do here? Batteries, unboxing process, snipping out the tags. There's a doll stand featured in here, I guess. That's cool. Inflating your pet, you can switch it off. Okay, do I just like, how do I get to the doll is what I want to know. Do you just like poke it out of there? Oh, okay. It looks like there's a Velcro that you can undo in the back. And from there, 
you can find your doll. A little underwhelming, all things considered, like that it's just Velcro, but I was curious how this was gonna look, and there she is, little Emma Emo. Her hair is a hot mess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn off this uh, right here with this switch, and there she is, okay. That was bizarre. Like, as soon as you started taking it out of the packaging, something triggered and, like, immediately started inflating. So, do be warned. It's very sudden and an interesting process. But I'm going to clip her out of here, so we'll take a closer look at the doll. And it also came with some little surprises, so we'll open those up as well. Okay, I have taken Emma off of the doll stand, so she is free. It, the doll stand is like attached to this inflatable base, but here is the doll without any of her additional accessories. She's pretty basic, you know, I'm excited that this is at least like a little romper rather than just a t-shirt, um, but there she is. We'll take a closer look at her after we finish unboxing all of her extra accessories. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, this one just literally has her cat ear headset, which is pretty cute, goes on pretty easy. And I think it does look pretty nice, I like it. And then we have her shoes. I like them, uh, alternated pink and blue. They go on pretty easy, I assume. Wait, should I put on her like skirt first or just go for it? Okay. I do love Emma Emo, like her original doll, just because her aesthetic was so cool. It seems a little bit more tame in this release, just because the emphasis seems to be way less on the fashion and more so on this huge inflatable pet. And then the last packaging has literally, literally just this kind of puffer plastic skirt piece. So pretty underwhelming and simple fashion which I kind of, you know, went into this fully expecting, so I can't be too upset, but it is still kind of frustrating that the fashion is so basic. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna squeeze that on up and make sure that the clothes underneath aren't kind of like bunched so it doesn't look weird. And I mean, it does kind of look weird. Okay, there are all of her pieces. That was really quick, like it took me maybe less than two minutes to fully dress her and get her assembled. Now for $30, like just this doll alone is definitely not worth it. But part of the appeal of this set is that you get this inflatable. So let's reinflate it and see what that process looks like before we get into really dissecting Emma Emo. Okay, I'm gonna set her aside. Does she stand on her own? Let's see if we can balance her. Mm. Kind of, okay, cool. So the instructions just say to Velcro the pet right back up. It says, hold the hook and loop fabric from the top and then begin closing the fabric from the bottom up. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> okay. This is literally like those like lawn decorations that you see during the holidays. You know, of like Jack Skellington and like big old turkeys and <laughs> I don't know, it's like, I did like them as a kid. I remember as a kid, I was very like enchanted with them because they're so fun. But as an adult, I'm less enamored, but you know, maybe this does make a good children's toy. I don't know, we shall see. Okay, so I shut it back, close it tight. There it is without being inflated. And then I'll turn on the switch. Oh, it's blown Emma away. It literally blew Emma away. <laughs> it does say you might have to puff out some of, you know, the pieces on it. I don't know, this is kind of loud. Like, if I were a parent and my child wanted to play with this and like I was trying to focus and do something, I would be a little <laughs> frustrated and maybe irritable because it's very loud. It's very loud. There's like a little fan in there, obviously inflating this inflatable. And without it on, you can't really play with it because the minute you turn it off, it gets sad again. <laughs> and then turn it back on, it's happy again. I mean, it is kind of fun. Like, it's just so random. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And then like, it doesn't make me want to get the rest of the series because I, though I do not, 
I do not need three more of these in my house. Like, one is cute, one is enough, but imagine having four of these. Like, what are you going to do with them? It's so silly. The Velcro does hold pretty tight. You can kind of see it's opening, so I'm just going to help shut it in the back. Yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Like, I, it's fully what I was expecting. It looks cute at least like the cat's cute the eyes are nice the blue color it's like a cat in a cat onesie so it's very fun and fantastical i love the color scheme it matches emma email so like it is kind of cute but how much like play potential there is between these two i don't know i do not know and then when you want to open this back up to put emma back in there you can fully do so And there you go, it doubles as a doll stand. Okay, taking a closer look at Emma Emo herself. So I undid everything, like, like the packaging that came on her. It's pretty easy to take her out of here and you can freely detach her from the doll stand. Mm, she's pretty basic and I still like her just cause I like Emma Emo the character, but she's definitely an inferior version of her first iteration which is just i was expecting that i fully came into this knowing she could not possibly live up to the gloriousness that was the original emma emo but i wish she was at least like having a fighting chance like she's not even trying to compete with her she's just like yeah i'll never be her so whatever so that's kind of sad like this fashion is pretty underwhelming other than the color story like it's not giving emma emo's original aesthetic which despite the name she was giving more of like a scene kid you know there's just not very many fun elements to this doll as far as her fashion goes but i fully came into this knowing that the fashion you know is compromised for this reveal gimmick of like an inflatable toy i knew what i was getting myself into so I am saying all of this just with a critical lens, but also fully self-aware of like what I purchased, right? I didn't purchase this doll thinking that she would ever be as good as the tween dolls from like series four and prior. I fully knew what I was getting myself into, but I was curious about this gimmick. It's interesting. I definitely want to know like how well it does on the market, if it's something that actually does grab people's attention, whether that's other children or adult collectors i'm really interest, interested to know how these dolls perform as far as her face goes her face is thoroughly pretty i like the omg faces the tweens are super cute her makeup's pretty simple compared to her original doll just some graphic liner with some blues pinks and yellows big brown eyes and i love her hot pink lip yeah the face is stunning like the face is good there's no defects which is nice because you know i couldn't pick out the face her headset is cute as well. I much prefer the headset or like ears or something rather than a big old ball cap or bucket hat. She does have tons and tons of gel, which in the bangs, I don't care. But for like her little pigtails, I'm probably gonna wash out the gel here so it's a little bit more nice to touch and play with. And then if you remove the headset, you can see she has a full middle part down the back of her head. And I love her color scheme. I love this bright blue and like neon pink. It's super fun. I love the split design of her shoes, but I don't love this like plastic puffer skirt. I don't really love the tweens getting plastic clothing. You know, I we've seen it on Not Enough Surprise Minis, we've seen it on the new Rainbow High Littles, but for a $30 doll, I would prefer this to be some fabric fashion. And that's sort of what made the tweens so adorable and compelling is that they were so small, yet so detailed with like, everything that they came with, all of their layers. Like if you look at the original Emma Emo, she's got like black fishnet tights as well as socks that have different prints. And like the shoes have more details with the laces printed. Her little skirt has two different layers of tulle. She's got like different layers of like mesh uh, kind of like sleeves. Like one is black and pink, the other is rainbow. The necklace, like the little crop tee is so cute. Like this doll for 20 bucks, stunning the hair tiger stripe clip-on extension i mean the earrings like she was amazing for twenty dollars so to see a twenty dollar doll next to her thirty dollar counterpart it's kind of sad but like i said i knew what i signed up for i knew that all of the budget was going into this ridiculous inflatable gimmick so 
I knew what I was getting myself into, but that doesn't mean that I still can't be critical of how lackluster she is. And another thing is I wish that her stand wasn't attached to the base of this inflatable. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's nice, but like, this isn't going to be cute on a shelf, you know? Like, if I were to splint these next to one another, look at how clunky and like how much space this takes up. And then I also don't want to display her covered up inside the inflatable because I prefer the doll and I prefer this like cat inflatable. So, you know, I like the thought and the effort, but I get it. I get it. Why give us a second stand if there's already a built-in stand for this inflatable piece? But I really can't imagine like the play potential this doll is going to have because I'm already over the inflatable. Like I did it. I saw what it looks like. It's fun. I don't need to do it again. It's kind of loud. And um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the series? Are you going to pick any of them up? I would recommend to wait for a sale. Like I kind of want Hoops Cutie, but now after this review, I'm fully waiting for her to go on sale. <laughs> like I don't need to pay the full 30 for her. Emma Emo, she has the test run, you know, the trial. And now I at least know that, hey, 30 for me at least is too much. Now, maybe kids will love this and like I'm just an out of touch adult, which could be the case. What do you think of this inflatable gimmick? Do you think it's actually gonna be fun for children or do you think it's gonna flop? I hope it doesn't flop because you know, I want these dolls to do well so you get more of them. But then I'm also like, well, if they do well, does that signal to MGA that they should do more gimmick lines? I don't know, right? Maybe if they do bad, that'll signal to MGA that we don't need these ridiculous gimmicks and then they can go back to dolls like this. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it here, but yeah, it's interesting, it's cool. I maybe rate it like a five out of 10. It's not something that like I'm obsessed with. She's a cute doll and she'll be fun to display with the rest of my tweens collection, but she's definitely not gonna rank like top five for me, you know, which I fully knew. Okay, well, that's all I have time for today. My name is Eli, this is my channel, Jack Elijah. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Emma Emo today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.